Hi everybody, it's Nida here again and thank you all so much for such a fantastic response to my first blog, video blog, vlog or whatever you call it. I was absolutely thrilled and I wanted to do something today because my first Nida Hug event is happening this Thursday coming in the Golf Club in Edenderry and it's going to be a great night. It's going to be lots of fun. Lots of divas having a really good time. We have a fashion show with most of the local fashion houses involved. And we also have um, a lot of the divas, business divas, putting their stands up so you can have a look and see what they have on offer. Uh, we have some great singers. Mag, uh, Mag Fury will be singing. And a lovely guest appearance of Teresa Groom, who is a fabulous girl. And she's an amazing cancer survivor who is doing really, really well and is very, very talented. We also have Finchie, who you'll be meeting. And he's a great DJ. And Derek, who's also helping me with the um, sound and lights and all of that. And Nula from the Golf Club will be doing some nibbles. As I said, Nula's nibbles will be available. And my husband, Jerry, is going to give you a taste of the juices that he's been making me for over the past 10 years or so. So basically, it'll be a bit of crack. And I'm hoping you'll be able to come and join me. I'm very, very nervous. And that's what I wanted to do this for. Um, it's to feel the fear and do it anyway. I'm sure you've all heard of that book by Susan Jeffers feel the fear and do it anyway sometimes we are really scared about trying out something and we're afraid of failing afraid of messing up for me it could be that I'll hear crickets out in the golf club on Thursday um, and then you know it's like you know will people turn up or will they enjoy themselves all of those things uh, give us fear at the idea of doing something I know that last Monday I almost decided that I'd cancel it all. I thought, what on earth am I doing? What am I doing giving a talk on healthy boobs? What am I doing running an event in the golf club? You know, who do I think I am? And you see, that's exactly what the talk is about. It's about the way we think about ourselves and how we can be totally debilitated from negative thinking about ourselves. And what I've learned certainly over the last few months what I've learned is the big thing to ask yourself when you're wondering about going ahead and doing something or if you're afraid to do something is ask yourself the question why that's the big one why do you want to do it why do you want to get out and uh, speak at an event in the golf club why do I want to bring a few hundred women together to enjoy themselves why do I want to take you know stress myself out over it and it's interesting because the more I ask myself why the more I remember the very very first time I ever went against my father and that was one of the biggest learning curves for me my dad was in a folly house he was in his 90s and I went up to visit him, as I always did, and I was in great old order, as was Daddy, and we were having a great old chat, and I noticed a lot of the other residents that were there were quiet in themselves, and some of them might never get visitors. They get very, very well looked after in a folly house, and a lot of people who would visit would go around and visit everybody. But something in me wanted me to do the usual show off and, you know, I, I felt this need to sing and maybe get them all on board and have a little sing song. And since I was in the musical societies with my dad for years, I know all the old songs. So like, you know, we were sailing along on Moonlight Bay and all those. I know them all. So I said to daddy, I think I'm going to sing a song here and it'll cheer everybody up. And my father, who is an incredibly quiet man, he said, Alana, please don't do that. They're watching the telly. Um, you know, don't disturb people. And put me in my place. Now, he's done that quite a lot in my lifetime because he is a quiet, he was a quiet man and I certainly was far from quiet. Funnily enough, this time I didn't agree with my father. I absolutely felt that if I had this little sing-song, it was going to really cheer up the old folks. 
I was nervous because A, I could be thrown out of the place. B, I could be a complete annoyance because I certainly can't sing. And C, I um, basically just make a total and absolute fool of myself. And I, you know, so it was all a bit, will I, won't I? But the why was really, really strong. The why was I could picture in my head, I could picture in my mind, the old folks all tapping their feet and clapping. And I could picture the big smiles on their faces. And it was worth it to put myself out there to just see that happening. It was worth it. It could have gone either way. I started my song. We were sailing along on moonlight bay. You could hear the voices singing. They seem to say, you have stolen my heart. Now don't go away. As we sang love's own sweet song on Moonlight Bay, on Moonlight Bay. <laughs> anyway, of course they all knew it. Before I knew it, the staff and the residents were all clapping and singing and everybody was in great form, including my father, because all of a sudden he got all cocky and look at my daughter, isn't she great? So I have to say, that gave me great courage. I, I knew that I had to, I had great respect for my father and yet I knew deep down, I am very different and there's something in me that wants to just get out and I've got to have the courage to do it. So basically, this is where I am now and this is my journey now. I'm really, really scared and nervous, but I know deep down it's the right thing for me to do. Without question, I know that on Thursday night, there are women going to come to the Dazzling Divas night and I'm going to guarantee them that they will feel fantastic, even if it's only for the hour they're there. All troubles, trials and tribulations will be left at home and we as women are going to hold it together, hug each other, dance together, celebrate together, celebrate health together, celebrate business, celebrate success, celebrate happiness. Take a break from all our challenges because we all have them. So I hope you'll join me on the Dazzling Divas evening in the golf club next Thursday. Doors opening at 6.30. If you're a business diva and you have something you would like to sell, as in if you have jewellery or books or you're um, a coach or you're into makeup, whatever it is you do and you'd like to share it with other divas, you're more than welcome to come. The tickets for the night are €20 Euro and they include um, a draw, that includes a draw for some lovely prizes that have been given by the fashion houses and by the people who are having their stands. There's no charge for a stand, you just, it's the €20 Euro for the ticket and then you give a prize for um for the draw. So hopefully you will all join me. And as I said, one thing that's going to happen is you're going to have a bit of fun. You're going to feel good for a while. And you know, when you feel good, all the hormones start working really well in your body and it helps us all heal. So I'm going to go now. I have to learn how to not go on and on like I do. And uh, what I want to ask you is, if you like this, why don't you like it and share it? And as <laughs> Maureen Potter used to say, if you don't like it, save your breath to cool your porridge. <laughs> That's what she used to say. But anyway, um, yeah, so like and share. And then why not tell me, put in a comment what it is that you're afraid of, what it is you're frightened of, what it is that you're afraid to take action on? Because... I really feel this is how we can help one another. We can share our thoughts and feelings and share our fears and maybe we can support each other. And while I'm onto this, I want to mention Moira Geary, the po uh, positive recom, the reap com, oh Moira, I'm sorry, the re, take one, take two, recombobulator. Recombobulator. It's not right, Maura. I'm really sorry. But Maura has helped me just from her own wonderful, wonderful um videos. She's a pro 
And I'm an amateur here, but we'll, we'll get there because we're all going to help each other out. So if you're afraid to take action on something, wouldn't it be marvellous if you got the courage to take action on whatever that is literally today? Imagine that. Imagine how you'd feel going to bed tonight if you actually took action on whatever it is you're afraid of. And the way is ask why. Why do you want to do whatever it is? For me, everything I want to do is to be of support, inspiration, motivation, help for anybody out there that I can help. Because by helping you and by supporting you, I guarantee you I'm helping me and supporting me. It makes me feel fabulous. So lots of love and hugs to you all. And I'll talk to you very soon. I think I'm having tea at three on Friday with Need a Hug. So please like and share and lots of love and hugs to you. And please send out as many hugs as you can. Bye bye.